please. Yeah, thank you, Anita. Hello, welcome, everybody, uh, to the last presentation. I will uh, try to hurry through my slides so that we have more time for question and answers in the end. Um, I would like to present to you uh, three tools that we are uh, working on in the quantum uh, project. And you have heard a lot about uh, processes now um, that uh, are necessary for, sorry, necessary for commissioning. Um, and this is actually the starting point for the quantum project. Um, here the objective is to identify uh, individual processes that are linked to the quality management process or could be integrated into quality management process. Um, in our proposal, we have def uh, defined three essential, um, three essential processes that are actually addressing gaps or situations where gaps might occur. Uh, between uh, design intent and actual operation, and you can see them here. Uh, the first, of course, is what we already heard in the previous presentation. Uh, we try to avoid a gap, so we want to reach what we actually have intended. Um, then uh, later on, we may have, you know, we have uh, existing buildings or new buildings that don't meet the criteria, and we try to close the gap. So this is kind of a recommissioning approach. And, and of course, later on during uh, the operation, uh, we would like to keep the gap closed uh, with appropriate measures. Um, now, the, the big challenge that we see here is, and we have heard that uh, the processes are actually being well defined. So we, we can do good quality management um, for buildings. We can do good commissioning for buildings. Uh, the big challenge that we see uh, and want to tackle in the quantum uh, project is uh, that for doing this on a large scale, on the huge number of buildings that we have, uh, we don't only need a process that works on some buildings, but it has to work very robustly on a lot of buildings. And we had this question about how, how do we do quality management for a 500 square meter uh, public building? Yes, we have to do quality management very cost effective. So we need not only the process, but also the appropriate tools to really accelerate things, to uh, integrate them smoothly into projects. Um, and that is what we are looking for, uh, and therefore it's a combination of the quality management process and ICT, information communication technologies. We are supposed to uh, apply, develop certain uh, software tools to those processes to make them faster, more reliable, more robust, uh, and economically feasible so that we uh, can actually scale up this on a large number um, of buildings. And I would like to show you one process uh, where we are uh, working on very intensely, and that is technical monitoring. And here you see uh, one slide, or actually one graph that we have, uh, you have seen already in Ola's presentation. Um, it basically describes how commissioning is part of a, a project's uh, well, uh, path. And uh, technical monitoring actually addresses one specific uh, point that we have heard before, that is also somehow part in many certification schemes. Uh, it's technical monitoring intended as a uh, process to specify uh, and evaluate uh, target uh, values for, uh, um, for buildings. So of course, you start at some point, we have heard this before, like an OPR with a specification of targets. Um, what is also very important and often neglected is you cannot just define targets it is important that you define how you measure those targets. Um, targets can be very fluffy, and uh, uh, th that we have heard before, but it's not enough just to say, okay, this is the value, because things are dif uh, difficult on, on buildings. So it's also very important for the contractors that they know how they will be tested. Otherwise, prices will go up, there will be insecurity in the project, so it's important to define what testing procedures are. And then, of course, when, when it comes to acceptance phase, pre-acceptance, post-acceptance, and operation, you have the testing. And after testing, uh, you may go into a, a continuous monitoring or supervision of the actual performance uh, of, the, um, of the building. What we derive from this as a quality, and this is essential to quality management, that doing this technical monitoring is a third-party job. Um, this uh, in many aspects is very important because you have uh, already the problem, and uh, uh, Dan has mentioned this before, it, you know, in, in, the, in the early phase you are asking for certain targets. Uh, but it may be the case that people are reluctant to provide uh, target values, 
And this is the first uh, situation where you need to have an independent party that is really insisting on getting good specific targets that can be tested. And then, of course, later on, you talk about qualities, meeting or achieving qualities, achieving target values. Of course, it's always helpful to have a third party uh, in this process. Now, just a couple of examples going through those different phases. The definition of target parameters, they need to be precise, they need to be trans transparent, um, and uh, like, like the ones here, the consumption of electricity, a, a COP, a temperature, a CO2 level, whatever it is, it needs to be addressed precisely. Then you have to define testing procedures. There are, of course, in some documents uh, defined uh, testing procedures for certain elements of technical systems, uh, of building services. Uh, still, when they are in place, installed, and so on, it's, uh, it's important to define what you will actually do in uh, the building, in the pre-acceptance phase, uh, to test whether uh, the system, the building, achieves uh, or meets the target values. So de defining testing pre procedures, who is doing what, when, is the building management system in automated mode or manual mode, uh, don't touch the system, do we have any defined load situations that we want to test the system on, um, et cetera. Very important. And for RCT, of course, it's very important how do you get the data out of the building. Um, most buildings today have a building management system of some kind, um, even if it's part of the boiler. Um, so data logging and export is possible, but it needs to be defined in the beginning. To, so you have to explain what kind of data do I want to have and, and in what format do I want to receive it at what point of time. Then you carry out the testing, you define some testing operations, you get the data and you can evaluate it. And later on, of course, you can uh, supervise uh, the uh, continuous operation. Within Quantum, we are looking at three tools. Um, just a short overview. Uh, NG9 is basically a, a tool where you can measure all kinds of uh, different uh, values, temperatures, CO2 levels, electricity, current, whatever, um, in a building and well, basically put the data in the cloud. Um, the Comfort Meter is a web-based questionnaire tool uh, allowing you to ask how users perceive the comfort in buildings and uh, through a pretty sophisticated uh, statistical analysis, they can actually evaluate how your building or indoor environmental qualities are perceived in comparison to other buildings. And I will go in more detail uh, into uh, uh, the tool of, uh, of Cinevision, which we call Performance Test Bench, which is actually uh, meant as a uh, uh, technical testing specification and testing uh, software with which, uh, as I mentioned in the different steps, I can create uh, a document that in the beginning of, uh, of a pro uh, project can actually specify uh, on the basis of the, of the design what uh, different uh, target values are being defined for individual systems or the whole building. So it's a software defining uh, in individual data points. You can see this here. This is a screenshot from a document. Uh, temperatures, uh, the operation mode of a pump, uh, a COP, whatever. You can define KPIs, et cetera, uh, give uh, functional specification on different operation modes, um, et cetera. So you create a specification for uh, the different systems um, in the building. And then you define, second step, the testing procedures. So in the same document, you specifically define um, when will the testing uh, go on, who has to do what, uh, what is the data that needs to be supplied, what is happening during the testing period of a day, a week, or two weeks, a month, whatever it is, uh, and how does the contractor has to uh, report on this um, so that you receive uh, the data as you want to have uh, the data in the uh, pre-acceptance phase. And this is what happens here. In the testing uh, phase, the contractor actually runs the system as specified, whatever is appropriate, can be a very short period, can be a longer period for a more sophisticated building, uh, may even be an additional testing period uh, if you, you know, uh, start up the building in, in, in summer, maybe you don't, you want to check again in winter. Um, and the contractor has to hand over the data for this um, uh, period of testing period uh, as uh, specified from the building management system. And then the commissioning authority, the quality manager, specifies and creates a report. And within the test bench, uh, this is basically done within the same document. So you have the software specification, um, you put in the data, uh, you have a very 
a powerful, uh, simple mechanism to, to link specification and operation data, and you immediately get uh, your report that shows you, okay, this is the chiller I specified, this is the specification, this is the data I received, and um, the tool exactly shows you whether all those different items have been met, uh, um, uh, whatever it is, a KPI or a system temperature or an airflow rate or whatever uh, you have um, specified. What you see here is and that shows you the power of ICT, of, of tools that we want to create. Of course, you can, you, you're doing this in software, and of course, you can create templates. You don't have to create everything from scratch for every single building. So now we have a library for boilers and chillers and heating circuits and air handling units, etc. cetera, indoor, air, uh, indoor environmental qualities. So this is all predefined and massively accelerates the whole process um, of technical monitoring, creating this kind of reports. This is an air handling unit. Those are the data points that are defined characteristics, temperatures, whatever, you get very detailed analysis of when was the system cor running correctly, when was it not running correctly, green and red, very simple, and of course lots of, lots of individual uh, specifications in detail, very transparent uh, on what is the building doing uh, uh, during the testing uh, period. So it's a very powerful process, uh, when, or very, po very powerful tool. Uh, when you apply the tool to this process. The tool enables you to do this cost-effectively, fast, and to scale this up robustly. And we think that this is a, a prerequisite for commissioning and quality management to, to become part, actually, of, the, uh, well, of our strategy on, on sustainable buildings. Those are just uh, two uh, screenshots of the other tools. The NG9 can collect all kinds of data, uses uh, uh, Wi-Fi uh, to connect all the different uh, uh, measurements and puts them uh, on on the web, so you get all these uh, graphs. On the other side here, you can see the result of a typical report that also comes uh, almost completely automated from uh, from Factor 4 from Belgium. Uh, here it shows you how your building did in the blue line right here. It shows you all the different you know, box plots for the different quality levels that you had, like. Uh, was it too hot, too cold? Uh, how was the uh, level of noise, uh, acoustics, etc.? And it compares you to other buildings, and that is basically uh, the quantile here, the, the red and green line. So this is uh, how um, you can match yourself to uh, to other buildings. Very simple tools, software-based, easy to uh, apply, um, and and very very well suited for scaling this up to the European building stock. And this is what we are targeting at. Um, we want to make those tools uh, as a key function to turning those necessary processes of quality management into useful and powerful uh, applications for our buildings. Thank you.